Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today. Today we're going to be looking at a brand new foundation. At least it's new to me and it's very popular here on YouTube lately. It is the Physician's Formula The Healthy Foundation. It is a drugstore foundation and it's what I have on my face right now. And I am so excited to take you through the process of applying it and then I'll be showing it to you later in the day so you can see how it wears. But first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. All you have to do is click that little bell and you'll get notification of my future videos. We have a lot of fun here. It's kind of like the 50 plus beauty family. We come together as women to make our second half our best half. So without further ado, I'll take off this foundation and we'll get started. Okay, now I'm up close and personal. All I have is my eye makeup on. The rest of it I'll do with you ladies. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation absolutely beautiful bottle as you can tell very high-end looking and I think I paid about eleven fifty for this at Walmart I did wear this one other time and I did like it but I do not like this doe foot applicator I do not know why in the world they would think that we we ladies would love this give us a pump bottle nice and plain in fact I would trade in the beauty of this lovely thing for a very functional pump bottle but they did not ask me. I'm sure they have no idea who I am. That would be a given. Okay, there we go. I'm looking like a little leopard here. A little foundation leopard. Okay, I'm going to go in with my trusty Clairsonic brush. And I thought this was a gimmick, this brush head. But I saw Angie on Hot and Flashy use it, and she loved it. And I really do trust her. I'll link her channel below. She's amazing. You'd have to be under a rock to not know Angie. In fact, she's probably one of the main reasons I ended up on YouTube at all because I really started following her Retin-A story because she has had beautiful results with the Retin-A. Now this is going on very beautifully. And I have to say, I don't know if you can tell, but it does look like healthy skin is what it looks like. Very, very lovely foundation. Oh my, I do love this. And I will do a wear test for you later in the day. However, I will tell you that it did wear pretty beautifully. I wore it actually the last two days at work and the only place I had problems is right around the nose, which I'm very oily. So that is usually where I have problems. Foundations generally do not last around my nose. Whoa, I turned it off. Okay, here we go. Now let me look in the mirror and make absolutely sure Everything is blended nicely here. Got some fur in my nose. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Well, I guess I did. My, that is a beautiful foundation. Take a look at that, girls. Very pretty. Very skin-like. And I believe it said brightening. Let's see, does it say brightening? Yes, brightening complex. And I think it did brighten my face. My, unfortunately, my decollete area, even though I wear sunblock like crazy, I get tan just walking out in the sun for five minutes and so my neck is more tan but you can tell it did brighten and I really do like that it's a very smooth look it's really nice now I think I'll put a little more over my incision area we'll see if it can be a little buildable which it actually was buildable the other day because I, I have been wearing this for a couple of days get a little wear test on my own and I'll pat that in with my foundation brush. I do not use this brush for foundation, but I do use it a lot for concealer. I think it just really pats things out very nicely. Very nice. Now I will say, you still do need to use concealer with this foundation. It's not that full coverage, but I would definitely say it's a medium to full coverage and a very beautiful, beautiful finish. Not too matte, not too shiny, just nice and skin-like. Now I'm going to go in on my incision area with a little bit of the Derma Blend Light. And this is actually going to be in my March favorites because it is phenomenal for covering up anything on your face that you don't want to be seen. Anything from incisions to brown spots to little broken capillaries. It is absolutely wonderful. That covered that up very nicely. Now I'm going to go in just for good measure with my little peach corrector stick. This is the L'Oreal True Match Peach Stick. It is not my favorite. I love the Wet n Wild version and then they stopped making it. Isn't that nice? But this one is, is a good strong number two. See how nicely that blends that in. 
you almost can't tell I have an incision now and I'm about three months out and I am going to be showing a video very soon I shot the video about at about the one and a half month point and I didn't want to air it because it shows my incision very up close and personal and I don't like having that out there but I had so many viewers say please do a video about covering up scars that they had scars one poor girl had been involved in an assault and she had gotten some marks on her face but I did tell her that after a year it is amazing how the face heals so I'm just praying that everything will be great with her but I did want to show that video just to show her that makeup really can do wonders and so subscribe if you would like to see that uh, cover-up type video that I'm going to be doing okay now that is one heck of a beautiful foundation girls you know how I love my Too Faced Peach Perfect but so far so good I think this is very very beautiful coverage all for $11.50 let's go ahead and go a little bit out of order we're going to apply some lipstick and this is the Flower Beauty Mix and Matte Lip Duo absolutely love this it's got two sides one is the little lipstick which is matte and the other side is a little lip gloss very beautiful very very pretty I got this from Marnie Goldberg's channel if you've not been there you need to go she is incredible she is Ms. Gold Girl and she is a golden girl she is like in her 40s she's blonde and beautiful and well-dressed and fashionable and she has this great family and three dogs and two boys and I had two boys too so I feel very much kinship with her so please do follow the link to Marnie's channel and take a look if you haven't been there she's wonderful now I've not been liking mattes as well so I like to go in with a little gloss just put this right in the center just to make those lips pop a little bit look a little bigger now we're going to go in with a little blush and this is one of my favorites this is the Milani baked powder blush in 01 Dolce Pink I wear this a lot and one of the main reasons is because it is a mix between fuchsia which is my favorite color and peach which is not as exciting to me but I know that it looks more natural and one thing I really like about this is as you can see it has just a little bit of iridescence to it kind of a built-in illumination which is so gorgeous these blushes are fabulous now I'm going to finish this off with a little Kevin Aquan contour book it's the volume 2 and I absolutely love this I'm going to go ahead and use my Real Techniques contour brush and again keep the contour in the upper part of the cheekbone right under the cheekbone you don't want to bring it down here because it will look dirty you don't want to look dirty don't want to be a dirty girl you can do the other side and really it is good to learn to do contour I was afraid of it I'm getting better at it it's still a little scary and one of the reasons it's so important for us more grown-up women is that as we get a little more grown up our skin can sag a little bit and so this helps put it right back up into place especially around the chin area see how that just sculpts your chin and it did raise my cheekbones which I really like do a little bit on the nose a little dangerous because this is not a nose sculpting brush I do have problems with my forehead but I'm also really afraid that I'll overdo up there so just a little bit up there and this is absolutely my favorite highlighter the Kevin Aquan candlelight powder it's great for those Frankenstein divots see how it just pops those right back out it's about the only highlighter I found that can deal with Frankenstein then we're gonna do the nose just the top part then a little bit on the cupid's bow which I probably should have done that before lipstick now that is a look at the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation and I absolutely love it I think this is a gorgeous gorgeous foundation and it does wear very beautiful during the day as I know from the past two days that I've been wearing it but I will show you a foundation wear test later on in the day so you can take a look with me and we'll see if on day three it still looks as good as it did before and I will tell you I did wear a primer with this I always believe in primers I am wearing the Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer which is my all-time favorite absolutely love this and it does null out pores and it just makes your skin look very matte and I think it really helps your foundation stay put hi there we are very close right now I applied this makeup at seven o'clock this morning this new foundation and it is now five o'clock so that has been 10 hours and so here is an up close and personal look and I think it looks really very good 
As you can tell, my lipstick is long gone. I may have applied it once at noon, but I did not do any more touch up on my face all day long. Around my nose area here, it is completely worn off, which is not surprising because I have very oily skin. And you can see, I look a little like an oil slick right now because my oils just kick in and go wild. But I really think with all that oil, it has really stayed nicely on my skin. And I will say on my nose here, the top of my nose, there are some polka dots where the makeup has worn off. Around my nose, it has worn off. Around my chin, it has actually worn off a little bit too. However, with my oily skin, through the day, I do retouch up. I do sometimes reapply concealer through the day. I really carry my full makeup with me because this oily skin explodes makeup off my face. But I really do love how this is looking. It works very well on oily skin. However, I think it would also work on drier skin because it has given me, you know, a little more of an oil slick look. And for you dry ladies, maybe that's a good thing. You know, it's funny, but it almost looks like I have no makeup on my skin, but kind of in a good way. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just notify you of my future videos. We do a lot of skincare and makeup and general youthing. I used to call it anti-aging, but I don't like that term. I like the term youthing because ladies, we're in our second half and those words are powerful and let's just stay youthful and stay in the game. Oops, my earring was backwards. I just changed that. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I'm going to be using these Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. Okay, let's go ahead and see what God has in store for us today to think about. Ooh, I love this. Everything is working out for my highest good. Everything is working out for my highest good. Ladies, I need this today very badly. Trust that even in challenging times, the universe only wants what's best for you. Friends, this is such a wonderful card and it is so important to do. Trust that everything is working out for our highest good. That goes right along with what I say all the time, which is that God doesn't give bad gifts. And really, I use that as a tool. Because in my first half, whenever sort of negative things would happen for me, I would think, why did that happen? And I would kind of get this victim thing. This kind of thing always happens to me. You know, that sort of thinking, which does not do any good. And so really, if we learn to develop the wonderful idea that everything is always working out for our highest good, that gives us power. That means that when someone comes against us and does something negative to us, if we think everything in the universe works out for our highest good, then we can say, well, God, thank you that that happened and show me how that is working out for my highest good. Because really what we think about comes about and what we expect often comes to pass. So ladies, just for today, let's remember that everything is working out for our highest good and that in the challenging times, the universe only wants what's best for us. That way we give positive energy to even very negative situations and they usually work out for our best. Take care. See you next time.